That's sad so fact. I mean, this the little thirteen year old he been harassing. Baby. What a mess. Po pooty booty. Po oh, child. Baby. Can y'all see him? Po yeah. child. Yeah. He look I got to yeah. see that son. He looks so God. sad. Look at him. He looks so sad. Poor little pig. <laughs> she not piggly wicked. No, somebody <laughs> help him. Girl, poor child. Yeah, he's pitiful. Oh. Ooh, that mercy. That's sad. Where that poor child parents at? Hey. Where, where is mom and dad at, Tommy? I would love to know. I would love to know. I don't. Uh, no, what Trina said, he never showed him. He showed all them light skinned pretty kids. But where did Fat Fat come from? People need to stop with that light skin dog day. skin stuff. For real. There ain't nothing prettier than a brown, uh, brown chocolate baby. Baby, po Fat Fat. Oh. Listen to him tell me now she ain't been checking her blood sugar. Why did it take Charlie for you to get up off your ass and go check you to get out your mouth and do it? What's up, ID? Honey, we can't hear you, ID. You have to go down and come back. Who the ID? Trying to come We're gonna put that on a stick and a shut in prep. Yeah, we do. We're gonna have to put him on that list, honey. Free yeah, pass. Pass. Somebody tell <laughs> Pastor on that, 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 that on the stick and shut in list. Yeah. Pull the thing. Oh, oh he's hey, cleaning Tommy. up, he, but look how long it gotta take him to get it together over there. That's the brother that died, son, Tommy. Huh? They say that's the brother that died, son. It is. Now, I wanted to say that that the brother that died, those are supposed to be, that according to Trina now, you know, we didn't call him up in some serious lies, but according to Trina, that's the brother who died, the passed away. Those are his kids. But my question is, okay, so where's the mother? Right. And did Trina you know have a show dad, you gotta him, have a mom. or did he just happen to walk in the camp? I don't know. That's what I want to know. What was the question, Tommy? What I wonder if Trina show him outright or did he happen to just walk in the camera? Oh, Sharon, uh, Paul Poogie. Look at his oh, face, baby. child. Let me oh. see. Oh, my God. I'm going to oh. get down, but yeah, I just wanted to clear that up. I want to know where the child's mother is because the father is supposedly deceased. But then right. again, that man that you had up here said that Trina never had a brother that was deceased. I don't know. Paul Poo. Where is mama? Oh. Paul Pooty oh. Booty. Oh, Paul little thing. Where is mama at? Girl, we may never know. Trina. Somebody I say he look like pumpkin. I feel bad for the kid because you can already tell Trina don't really like him. And now he in the camera, everybody about to have his picture all over. And he got to be under Trina B. Oh, they yeah, said that wasn't his blood brother. Oh. Oh. That's some sad shit, for real. Like, uh, no bullshit. Hey, Amber. Because he a whole child. Yes, he is. And he just look his love fades. And you got to take care of elderly woman. Come on. I'm trying to blow it up. Poor Pootie. They said he didn't even know he was on camera, girl. Said he asked the Michael's Uncle Stank, is we live? He need a haircut and a good time. Thank you. He look, sure do. See? Trina busting his own lies out. Look at him. You ain't lying, sis. Look. You ain't lying. That baby in is, is school is new. I, I'm too much in the sun, I think. Can y'all see it? I see him, but it's a glare. We got to get in the house. Wait a minute. Maybe let me put it down. 
Girl, I th let me close this. This is shameful, God. It's a shameful God. Oh, that's better. It, what's wrong with his eye? He looks sad. No, what's wrong with that um right eye? Look like somebody done hit him in it. Ain't nothing wrong with it. He open. They just open now. Poor pooty. They ain't doing him right. Poor pooty. Oh, okay. On that other picture, it looked like some, somebody had hit him in it. Mm-hmm. He looks sad. He do. He look. He look tired. He tired. He's tired of being used and abused. My God. Oh, girl, this hat just wove me out. He's the cutest little old son, but Trina don't talk about him. Trina don't never show him and brag on him. Tommy, let me ask you something. When you here, come um, another Miss Lola. There go Miss Lola. <laughs> <laughs> she ain't gonna stay today. Uh huh. Hey girl, cause I hey. your motherfucking ass off. <laughs> Tommy, hey. When you um, hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold she on. She got on up in there today. That's the yeah. Fucking with me because I'm sitting out here in my car. Oh, that's her. Okay. That's the pastor wife. And honey, I got cuss her motherfucking ass off. Tommy. Oh. Can you hear me? Yes, I'm sorry. I had blank. Let me ask you. Miss Lola's have. They've been having me going today. Miss Lola, Miss Lola got her strut voice going Did on. She? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I said voice because I'm reading somebody comment. Please don't don't comment about me, y'all, for real, because y'all. But let me ask you: When you proxy over somebody, are you in charge of their money too? Well, he says he's power of attorney over her finances and her. Parents. Yeah. Yeah. So she doesn't, she doesn't, I don't give a fuck about my voice being deep, yo. Shut the fuck up. Right. So, so that means she doesn't get to, like, she's not in charge of her, her, her social security? I think it's He's true. in charge. He say he power of attorney over everything, her money and everything. Yeah. Thank you, Thomas. Oh, wow. Thank you. That's what power of attorney means. But don't you do that like if you're incompetent or something? Well, at one point, she probably was when she was on them pill. Oh. You know, he admitted to that, so it's not even allegedly anymore. This is straight out of Trina's mouth that his mama was eating pills. Mm, okay. Yeah, that okay. was... Because I hear that a lot. And I'm like, but she still seems like she a little feisty. Like, she don't got charge of her own money. They that said the child was supposed to start school on August the 10th. Oh. Fast All right, Tommy, because I ain't got time for these comments. I don't want to be This deep. Any this deep. This deep. Morgan. Yes. Girl, you ain't supposed to worry about them comments. I, ain't, I don't worry about them comments. I don't even look at them. Don't look at them, girl. <laughs> Who we looking at? Trina. Morgan nah, says she got time for them comments. Girl, I ain't they, even they, at they, they, said, they said my voice deep as, as hell. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> mm. That said want mm -mm. to tell it all on Uncle Stank of Fat Stank and Man VA. Yeah, he should too, poor little thing. He look pitiful. God knows him do. Fuck Uncle Stanker, fat, fat. We gonna get that bitch for you. Joe is a bitch. So, every check day, uh, first of the month, the money go to Trina. Yes. Now he ain't over there hollering, running mm. up. All right. He probably got her own account, though, but his name is on it. Yeah, because I don't see her letting him take control of her money. Well, when you got power of attorney, he is in control. Well, I'm going to bring him. So I'm back tomorrow because she ain't got that much right now. Hey, lady. This is terrible. Yes, yeah, oh, honey. Stay over there saying in the comments the nephew 
knows more than trees. That's sad. The nephew, the 13 year old, can answer more questions about Trina's mother. Mm. But he he said he check on her every day though. Let me get down before I get messy. <laughs> Um, I don't know if she's married to Mr. Bill, but Mr. Bill, when y'all hear him talking about Mr. Bill, Mr. Bill is the boyfriend. I don't know if they're married, but that's the significant other. Mr. Bill. Mm -hmm. Mr. Bill is a truck driver who... What's up, baby? Hello. Goodbye. Hello. Hi. Hello. Say hello one more time. Huh? Say hello one more time. Hello. I hate when a motherfucker call my phone and I say hello and that motherfucker say hello and then I say hello again and that stupid motherfucker say hello one more time. Exactly. Ooh, it, ooh, it burns me up. You gonna say goddamn hello, hello, hello. Bye. Exactly. Oh, I can't stand it, girl. I goes off. Regarding, regarding oh, the power. Damn new. Hey, Keith. Hey. Even though she's married, if she has, she can give the power of attorney to whomever. She doesn't have to be. Uh -huh. um, so she is married know. to that girl, to that man, Mr. Bill. I don't know, Mr. Bill or that lady business. I was just reading the comments, um, <laughs> but I was. If she is married, someone would say what well, a spouse was saying. The spouse would have to make decisions before her children or anybody else. And I was just wanting to clarify, even if she's married, if she's given power of attorney to another individual, that individual will have the ability to make um, decisions on her behalf, depending upon how the power of attorney is written. And she doesn't have to be mentally incapacitated um, in order for that to go. A power of attorney doesn't always, typical power of attorney is going to handle like, um, your income or your assets and things like that. You can have a power attorney that's really specific where I'm just giving you the ability to do real estate transactions for me. So right. all of us are dependent upon what they specifically listed in the power of attorney and um, it can always be revoked as long as she is of sound mind. So I just right. wanted to get some clarification on the power of attorney and what may or may not be transpiring over there. Y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Sure. You too, and thank you. And then look, somebody in the comments just said that they said somebody is giving too much medicine. Who is giving somebody too much medicine? Oh my God. Who giving somebody too much? Where you at? That's Trina. Oh my God. They're going to kill a lady over there. AJ, I got you next. Oh. So they said her sugar was 300. They said her sugar was 300. And so Trina is over there giving her a double dose of medication, thinking it's going to bring it down. So he, Trina over there. So now, so that means that little boy in charge of giving her insulin when ain't nobody there? She on Gotta insulin. be. Gotta be. Mm -hmm. So he over there giving her a double dose of medication. To bring oh, down my insulin. God. Is that what he's doing right now? Girl, we got to get in this motherfucking house, honey, so I can take off this motherfucking bra, bitch, and get comfortable for this And get into this bitch, girl. You need your titties swinging for some motherfucking titties. You like damn this. right, honey. Huh. You need your titties swinging for some shit like this. You damn right, I And told your you. house coat on, baby, with your house shoes on, and be Slippers. sitting out there on the porch watching the motherfuckers. And your bonnet. So I was just coming up to say, like, a power attorney works different ways, like old girl said. But it's a, a power attorney can say many different things, and it can stipulate certain things. And also, you can get a power attorney from anywhere. Like, if you know a notary, if they notarize it, the notary can be in your family or anything. If they notarize it, that's official. So he could get a Bozier power of attorney. Anything is... You a power you can get one from anywhere. You don't need like a fit like you need a official notoriety and if they stamp it and they got one, that's sealed. 
So Yeah, I was probably turning over my grandfather's um estate. So yeah, if a power of attorney, you can get away with a lot of stuff. Like I like I'm not gonna lie, like my sister got power of attorney, but I got life insurance, so my benefit it's basically been a beneficiary over some over a small portion of my life. You might not be on my life insurance policy, so if something do happen, you're not right. gonna get nothing. Right now you just control controlling my finances probably into whatever accounts. But other than that, it's really nothing. That's and power of attorney also that when when someone dies, it dies. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah, because it got an expiration date on that. Like that notary right. has an expiration date on that. You can't do nothing when the person passes away. Once they close their eyes, power of attorney dies too. Wow. Wow. He better take he better use as much as he can while he can before because he can go to jail legit. Like if they feel like that he was using his mama how it is, they can right. bring that the family can bring that up. Like, man, he killed he killed her, he had however it go. But it's up to them. But you know, I don't think they smart in the box of rocks over there. So I'm wow. Leave it as that. Yeah. yeah. Cause when my grandfather took me to his lawyer to get the POA for him, that's when the lawyer told me it you know, when my grandfather passed away, mine's would my um POA would end. And the executive over his um uh -oh. life insurance would take over. Mm -hmm. Wow. Hey Nifa. Hey baby. So listen, if she wants something like um metformin or something like that, she feels safe for her to double up. Her sugar goes past. So it is safe for the double dose as long as it's not like on a regular basis, the sugar is going up and you doubling up and doubling up and not seeing the doctor. But if it's spiked, she can definitely take a double dose, but that other shit is unexcusable. Wow. Wow, y'all. That is insulin. It's not safe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Hey, Tommy. Hey. I just want to say this. Look, first of all, give it some. If her sugar is 300. Giving her a double dose could actually be detrimental to her health. And the reason why I'm saying this is because what if she got some other underlying issues? That's why when your, your, right. um, your sugar levels are elevated like that, they tell you to go to the ER. They put you on the IV and they run all kinds of tests to make sure they need to find out, first of all, why her sugar is at that level and what else could be causing it. He doesn't have that ability to do all of that. So actually giving her a double dose could do her more harm than good. That's just, I can't believe he is such a fucking idiot. And I'm not going back and forth about um, power of attorney because Trina probably don't even have power exactly. of attorney. He probably is her he rep so much. Because, right. right. And he's probably just a rep payee, someone who gets her social security check on her behalf and is supposed to be managing her money for her. And, when, and I don't understand why the mom doesn't have a personal assistant. The state will pay for someone to come out and check on her, take care of her, run her errands for her. Why hasn't he signed her up for that program? Because he damn like, so true, He need a fucking personal assistant. He need to give himself a double dose of that motherfucker while he's giving it to his mom. It could potentially cause her more harm than good. Lord be with her. They say he watches, the God watches over fools and babies. He certainly sure do. Fool. Yeah. Yeah, I'm out, Tommy. Wow, wow, girl, more and more steady coming out by Trina. More and more, more, and more honey. Cause yeah. we call it all CNAs, we call it RNs, we call it medical doctors. So all the people that be making fun of CNAs, we need y'all right now for Miss Dorothy. Amen. Miss Dorothy <laughs> needs you. Yes. Lord, oh, amen. Oh, poor Miss Dorothy. Oh, baby. Lord, how much that's so sad. 
read my comment mm. about the caregiver pay. Trina can't get if his last name is different. They do have the same last name, but I bet you somebody, they got that already hooked up. I bet you. I bet you. They got programs in Virginia where they will pay a family member to take care of someone that's ill. Yeah, they got it here in Illinois. Everywhere they got it here. It's a government program. They got it here in Illinois as well. So with the insulin, because I've actually was a caretaker of someone who was insulin dependent. Um, and she who could not even, me out, Who cussing Tommy out? She couldn't even get like uh, the pump. Damn, Tommy, we both said the same thing. Who me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so basically, but with the insulin, they can do sliding scales. You don't know what the double is because you don't know what the amount that he gave her originally. So you can't say because he could have gave her a small amount. They could only give her like two. So it all depends on what they're giving her as far as the double dosage. With the person that I took care of, we could not go by what the doctor said because she was insulin dependent. Her body got to the point where it was so insulin dependent that sliding scales did not work. So basically her ins her sugar ran anywhere from 200 to we were running to the 500. The she was not in diabetic coma, so she was not doing the diabetic acidosis. So it all depends on the person, the body, and the person that takes care of him. If she, if he takes care of her on a regular, he should know how to give her the insulin. If he doesn't, then he should call someone and get assistance. But as far as giving insulin, it all depends on the person. So you can't say too much with that. And yes, I know a 500 is extremely high, but like I said, some people get, some people body gets so dependent on it and get to the point where it doesn't matter how much insulin you're giving them. And so therefore their body is not accepting the insulin. Sometimes the pump doesn't work, you know, it doesn't matter what they eat. It's a lot of different factors that go into like blood sugar. Right. Um, anybody who heard Trina Mama cussing me out, what did he tell her? He would have had to tell her something about me. I don't know her. What was he saying? Okay, what I was typing. Well, he told her that you was over here talking about her and saying that, um, saying about her medicine and you don't really know. Um, so I am an RN and I've been one for years. So all right, there's two types of diabetics. Type one, type two. Somebody can be a mixed metformin. If she's taking metformin, she wouldn't be taking insulin. Metformin is for when you don't need the insulin injected into your body. Your pancreas is no longer producing that insulin once you eat. So therefore, you need insulin after or before you eat. And sometimes in between those times, they have you to check it. And based on whatever the level is, if they are insulin dependent, meaning they will get a shot of insulin in the morning for their dinner and for their lunch, they could stay with all, can also get an extra dose of another kind of insulin because they're all different kinds. You got your short acting, you got your long acting, you got like so when you refer to the pump, that's a whole nother thing. Based on that sliding scale, like the lady just said, depending on what the doctor determined, because it's all about what your ACE1 level is, and that's tested by your blood. And that's what, how the doctor comes up with how the scale should be formed. Now, uh, as of here lately, we don't like a blood sugar to be higher really than 150. It used to start at two, but statistics have shown that there's least infections, that there's least, you know, issues as far as losing sight, amputation, stuff like that, um, that diabetics affect so that to keep it 150 and down is good. However, you don't want the blood sugar to go below 70. So you can't just give somebody an extra dose of anything. Okay, that's just like, if I'm a nurse, I'm home care, I'm in the hospital, I'm wherever I'm working, and I done worked all over the place. I cannot myself just be like, oh, okay, well this patient's um, insulin is 400, I'm gonna give her, no. And I can call the doctor and say, 
Oh, I've been working with Miss Smith for this and that. I noticed that when they take the blood sugars and horn and da, 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 and provide him information to make him see that I feel like maybe we should do something different. But at the end oh. of the day, it falls on whatever he says. And that's it. Because nobody should be giving nobody no extra or double dose of anything. You should only be doing a double dose if it's an antibiotic. You don't want to start an antibiotic and not finish it. Girl, look at that fine motherfucker. Look at his yeah, he look sure is. Look I noticed that. Fine. Yeah, I see. Soon, and soon, and time to Dang. Dang. No. <laughs> in the bedroom, he was fine. He really was. Yeah, he be all his soul. Girl, how's somebody too old to know a man fine, bitch? You sound so stupid. How in the fuck can I be too old to appreciate how a man looks, bitch? I, I mean, what the fuck wrong with your dumb ass? You just want to say anything up, up, down that bitch. you never, bitch, I'm going to be 90 years old appreciating a fine-ass man. I don't care if I'm married, bitch, and got 12 great-grandkids, bitch. I'm going to be the granny that's going to say, ooh, that's a fine motherfucker there. I'm going to be a Miss Lola, bitch. Looking at Hell this yeah, that's going to be me too, types. girl. I'm going to be a dirty old lady. Me that's, too. You better know it. The fuck? I'm going to be a filthy. Hmm. What we call, now we know the Miss Lola's is the nagging bitch. What we call the filthy old ladies? What's their name going to be? <laughs> I don't know, girl. <laughs> I don't know. But I'm going to show up okay. one of them. Miss Hola. That's it, Miss Hola, honey, hmm. because I used to be a ho. Oh. Not Bertha. <laughs> We got somebody that birthday girl, Rita, honey, Rita, Annie, uh, Abby, <laughs> e not Abby May, Jesus, Miss Freedom. Hell no, don't put me in that category. Freedom. I don't ever want God to take that from me. You dry pussy bitch. All right, we can always admire a piece of nice man candy, yes. no matter how old he is. Shit. I'm gonna be 70 years old and I'm still gonna be fucking. What the fuck? Period. You hear me? Um, okay. Baby, when I turn 40, baby, this pussy changed. You hear me? Okay. Baby, wet, wet Miss Halloween. You know okay. why? Because we took care of it. We took care Period. of it. Okay. okay. And then abuse yes. it. Like, like Tommy said this morning, bitch, we got self sufficient pussies. Okay. Period. <laughs> Okay, but bottom line is that lady is not being taken care of. She's not taking her medications properly. She's prop. We know she's not on a proper diet because you can't really expect man. a thirteen year old to know all of that. So that's the bottom line. Trina ain't doing what the fuck he's supposed to be doing, and he need to be handled for it. Bitch, Ashley, I don't like your old ugly ass the way you at because we know you always calling everybody. Bitch, get on your job <laughs> and call them motherfuckers. Who class? What class is that? Call who? Oh my god. Oh, uh, man, if, if, that's, when I get if that's all y'all, if that's so all y'all got to say about me, bitch, I'm doing good. Cause it ain't changed a motherfucking thing over here. I'm still getting fucked, sucked, and my bills are paid. Okay, ho. Here. Oh my god, is mad about it. And keep living, honey. You gonna have Girl, to, uh, you gonna have you gonna have to grow down that shit. <laughs> you gonna have to get rid of that goddamn mm. hair. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. But shit. Hey. Um, thank you, baby. I forgot baby. what I was. About to, I forgot what I was about to say. Y'all been up here cutting up so damn bad. Ooh, y'all is cutting up today. Y'all is cutting up today. Cut up. For it's Miss Jenkins if you nasty. It's Miss Jenkins if you nasty. If you nasty, I wanna <laughs> take. I want to take fat fat and feed him a good, healthy serving of unhealthy food yes. and a big old real cold Kool Aid. Take him out for the day with the with the take boys, honey. Yes. Have the time and get stinking and fresh outside and get him a good shower so he can sleep well on a mattress. Oh, I forgot my food. You know, it just feels so bad for him over there. Me too. 
And if it wasn't Trina B, such a piece of shit, I wish we could get Fat Fat's cash out. If I didn't think Uncle Stanker would steal it from him. And yes. I would send Fat Fat some nice. Yes, the Fat Fat probably needs a hat. He need a nice little line up. Even if he don't want his hair cut, a nice little line up to do him good. Some little pair of gym shoes so he can be Dougie. Because you know 13 is a very important age. What's in the shirt? The outfit, y'all know what I'm talking about? The little dry fit hey, outfits that make the little boys Good. feel, feel so cool are, when it's hot. Mm -hmm. I am. Are you the owner? Yes. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Oh. Okay. We're owners here. All right, yeah. Fit. That's right. Knocking anytime. <laughs> are you having someone move in? We don't yeah. Yet, okay. We get you. I get somebody, I'm going to get up for sure. Period. How you doing? Very nice person. Oh, yeah. You know, because. So, this is you so worried about if I'm, I'm really co-hosting. Yeah. You know, but if I come down here and have nice all y'all, y'all will be looking stupid yeah. as a bitch. Right, Don't worry about what I'm doing. I met your husband. Don't worry about Oh, yeah. Okay, me. Y'all always be worrying about the wrong shit. For real. I'm bothering none of y'all about up here talking to Tommy. Why are y'all worried about where I'm doing and where I'm at? Y'all ready for y'all haircuts? You finna take me to uh, Damn, I'm not bothering you none of y'all. Uh -uh. Not bothering none of y'all by sitting up here. They said need him some of them uh, Yeezy Crocs and some But if I come down there yes. and sit y'all, y'all gonna look dumb as a bitch. And a nice little lineup with some Yeezy Crocs and a couple dry fit outfits. Fat that'll be yes. good to He'll go. Be good to go. And you know what? Yes. Worry about the business that pays you because I'm not your business. So don't worry about me.